Today we're going to mess with Tinkercad shape properties and make something awesome. So let's get cracking. We're going to quickly start on my webpage, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Down below, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. I want to quickly highlight the shape generator PDF. Friends, when you launch this, it shows you every shape that is available in Tinkercad and it gives you the names of them so that way you can search for the items. It's a fantastic tool for you to snag and of course once you get it you can simply click right here to download it to your computer. I highly recommend you snag that and keep it as a resource. I do also want to show you the HL Mod Tech favorites. I have made this page so that you can track down some of my favorite projects. Of course right here is what a staff favorite is. These are projects that the staff did not choose for a favorite, but I think they're worthy of you checking out. This is Tinkercad.com. If you've never been here before, I simply choose Sign In with Google. We're going to hit Create, and we're going to do brand new 3D design. We will start by naming our file. They always have these fun names. I'm going to call this one Ring Fun. Now, the reason I am calling it Ring Fun is because we are going to use the cool ring. I'm going to bring this out real quickly. I'm going to show you that it has the shape here. We could adjust the sides. We could make it a hole. I'm going to tell you to leave all that alone. Of course, I did show you that PDF. So quickly, I'm going to show you how to search for items. One of the cool shapes I like is the OGIV. Notice if I type OGIV, there are two to play with. You can pick whichever one you want. I will highlight here, this is making it a favorite. That way I can always get back to it by simply clicking right here and visiting my favorites. These are all the ones that I like to use. Notice you can have as many as you want. They do take a moment to load the images. There they are popping in. This is a good one because it mentions the radius. Last week I showed you a cool trick with the cone. I'm going to go back to basic shapes. We took this cone and where it says radius, we converted it to work with diameter. It was a pretty slick trick. I'll put that video up here. I have not tested to see if it works with the OGIV yet, but if somebody would let me know in the comments, that would be fantastic. So let's quickly play with this ring. Watch this. It's got handles that you can stretch out and make it look all kinds of different wacky ways. If I stretch it vertically, now it's some sort of tube. I can click like this and I can make it bend in. Now it's like a nuclear reactor. If we fiddle with this down here and stretch these handles, we can make it look like a vase. It is almost instant. That's what I'm going to challenge you with today, is making this into something awesome. Now, after you make it into something awesome, it's super cool if you share it with me. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Just make sure when you're done, it's public and has the HLMT23 tag. I am going to show you real quickly. You can go absolutely bonkers with these, making them twist in weird ways to turn into wild shapes. Notice it gives it like a handle. I'm going to stretch this one way wide. You can twist these. I'm going to even overlap it so it goes over top of itself. Notice inside here, it's like the bottom of an engine for a rocket. There is so much room for you to explore and fiddle. I'm excited to see what kind of cool things you can make with these. Notice we can also adjust the sides. It is pretty wild what you can build with this cool shape. I'm going to give it a custom green and bingo, I'm gonna call that good. Now friends, whenever you finish a project, if you click back here, this is our Tinkercad desktop. If you click right here on the gear, you can change the properties. I've given it a title, notice I've got a description. This tutorial will be added in a minute and I've got the link to the HLMT23 new shares. Once again, if you ever tag a project with HLMT23, I check these out every day and of course I will give you a reaction. Finally, click down here on public and if you want people to be able to play with your design, leave it as share a like if you want it so they can just see your design, set it to no derivatives. Finally, click save changes. Real quickly, let's click on the design. I'm going to show you another cool thing. Of course, you can add images to explain your design even better. And I also want to highlight on the gear, there is now a version history. Notice today's project, I had 31 versions. So if there was a version that was better, say version 23, I can click on that and hit restore 
and it makes an extra copy of my project backing up to where I was on version 23. Now, I don't need that one today, but if you ever have a project that's broken, this is a fantastic way to get back to where your project was working. I'm going to simply hit delete. I do want to quickly jump to the gallery. Of course, these are the awesome staff picks. Note, when you slide down through the list, you'll likely find one of mine. When you do check it out, of course, there is a tutorial in the description, and the reactions are always appreciated. If you want to see all of my designs, you can simply click right here. It initially launches by last edited, but you can real quickly sort by reactions or even trending to see what is popular lately. Of course, we can also shut off those staff picks. I like to click the larger grid and see all of the amazing projects that have been made by other users. Of course, when I check them out, I always like to click on them and give them a reaction. That's fantastic. Check out this fun smile keychain. Absolutely love it. And how about this awesome castle? That's fantastic. I do have an extra bonus today. This is a sweet frigate created by Connor. I have a tutorial for a battleship and Connor took my tutorial and made it that much more awesome. Up front, we've got a sweet 90 millimeter cannon. If we zoom in right here, there is a 35 millimeter machine gun. Right here, we've got the aerial. We've got an awesome rocket launcher. And in the rear, an epic helipad. What a fantastic project. Of course, if you're interested in finding the tutorial, you can use the bit.ly up above. Connor, that is a fantastic design. And once again, Thanks for sharing. Now, friends, if you make a cool design with the ring, please make it public. Please share it to the HLMT23 tag. I would love to see the cool things we create because I think it's going to be pretty fun. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to everybody that supported me via YouTube memberships. Remember, there are three different levels and all support is appreciated. I also want to say thank you to everybody that supported me via Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you friends for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.